Kentish ragstone has been used as a building material for thousands of years. It's been used across London and the southeast to build everything from castles for kings to stylish, modern shops, offices and homes. But where does this unique and beautiful stone come from? And how does it continue to end up as part of the fabric of so many exceptional buildings? In the past, there were scores of quarries dotted around Kent, but today there's only one company still actively quarrying Kentish ragstone, and that's Gallagher Aggregates Hermitage Quarry near Maidstone in Kent. The ragstone has been in the ground for over 100 million years. The first stage in quarrying the stone is to drill a series of 126 mm diameter holes into the natural rock bed. Into these, small explosive charges are positioned at specific depths. Everything is carefully calculated to ensure a clean, precision blast occurs. Now, the very best blocks of primary ragstone are chosen. Gallagher's experienced quarry staff examine them closely to ensure the integrity, character and strength of the stones. Once the experts are happy, the primary blocks are transported to the masonry workshop area. Throughout the stone selection process, the block is carefully inspected, this time by qualified and experienced stonemasons who will decide which blocks are best suited for each specific project. Now, the primary block of ragstone is cut with a computer-controlled primary saw. Gallagher used both a Van Vorden saw and a new French Gilbert primary saw. Both have gigantic, computer-controlled 3 and 2 meter blades, which are constantly cooled and lubricated with clean water. The primary saws accurately cut the stone into slabs of a specific thickness, all ready for the next stage of the production process. The Wells well-cut secondary saw is also computer-controlled and cuts the ragstone into dimensionally square stones to the exact size as specified by the project. Some projects require very specific shapes and mouldings and that's when the Italian GMM CNC secondary saw is used. It can be programmed to carve a wide range of bespoke and intricate shapes. Additionally, the stone may require cropping into specific sizes for walling stone. This is done with two high-powered, 120-ton PSI bladed guillotines. Tumbling the stone is a skilled technique which gives Kentish ragstone a used, aged look. This helps it match surrounding stonework in restoration, conservation or heritage projects and helps it blend in with stones which have been weathered for centuries. Quality control is next. It's here that each slab or block is meticulously checked to ensure it's just right for the project for which it's been manufactured. The ragstone is now nearly ready to begin its journey to the building site. But first, it must be packaged to protect it and to ensure that the customer will be able to correctly identify it when it arrives on site. To ensure correct accountability and quality, each pallet or bulk bag of stone is weighed and recorded to ensure the client is aware of the loads for transportation and site manoeuvring. Additionally, every item that is transported from Gallagher's quarry has the CE marking specific to Kentish ragstone. Now at last, the ragstone can leave the quarry on its way to the site. Kentish ragstone is strong, full of character and highly versatile. It's frequently used in heritage projects and also increasingly in demand for contemporary and new build. It can even be supplied in a polished finish, which gives it a stunning, marble-like look. To find out more about this unique British stone, please contact us today.